Joke Vlog. Over on good old Tubi TV, you know, I think it's going by just Tubi now. I caught from the 1970s, The Man Who Fell to Earth, starring David Bowie in his first leading role. Yay, all by himself. Look, this is a hot steaming pile of... Okay, look, I don't even know how to describe what's going on in this movie because it is woefully incoherent. This director, Nicholas Roeg, am I saying that wrong? Hopefully. If you had a decent movie, I probably would try to look up how to pronounce your name because this is such a disaster. All right, we got some space shuttle footage and then all of a sudden David Bowie, uh, I guess, was in something that fell to the ground, what, New Mexico? Oh, but he's walking around the town, immediately has a British passport. Hey, what? We skip forward some bit, he's meeting with some lawyer, and he's like, hey, I have some patents, and it's like, wow, you have some cool technology, I guess you're gonna be like a billionaire. Ew, all right, whatever. He's obsessed with making some cash, I suppose there's some kind of scheme involved where, oh, he's gonna get rich and he's gonna build a spaceship and go back to where he came from. Uh, there's talk of that, and then I guess it never launches. It's like, it, this is a movie that will make you think you were on crazy pills. We, we cut around to Rip Torn, who shacks up with all kinds of babes. I guess he's some kind of photographer, a professor. Yeah, he's banging broads all over the place. One of them shows him that she has some camera and, and also look what do you really want a girl grabbing your dick and saying oh you're nothing like my dad creepy as hell so sure enough rip torn is fired for making the dean jealous by banging too many hot chicks and then he goes and says you know what i'm gonna go get a job at this camera company all right so uh, your alien technology isn't as good as digital photography great job looking to the future with this at this point i just don't even know what the hell's going on something about setting up x-rays to to find out that david bowie's an alien but he's banging candy Clark and, and reveals his true alien form to her. She freaks out a bit, but uh, is drawn back to him. Everybody he's working with gets knocked off by Hitman, dressed in literally sparkle helmets. I don't know what the hell is happening in this damn movie. Did David Bowie get discovered by the U.S. government and he gets experimented on? I, I, I don't know. You have to, like, actually look up what the intention is on Wikipedia to get anything out of this shit. It's, it just seems as though he's having these procedures done to him for fun. He's paying them. Because he's a rich guy. You don't... Is he under house arrest? What, what is this shit? Okay, so there's some artsy escapade shots at the end. And we see a few glimpses of uh, David Bowie's home planet, which, not amazing. Why return to a place where there is no character developed and all you say is there's a desert and no one has water? Don't care. The man who fell to earth, I give it one and a half out of four stars. You're a very beautiful senora, and I'm ashamed to ask you for one American dollar per month to listen to my weekly podcast on Patreon. But if I don't, my father will beat me.